Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Rakan, part of the Sun Network in London. This video, we're going to talk through how to create really exciting and engaging portfolio presentation in Figma, leveraging things like Figma videos, smart animation, GIFs, and more. Way too often, portfolio presentations can be quite static and boring, but we're going to teach you how to really stand out and create a really exciting presentation for free using this Figma file. If you're new here, be sure to subscribe for future design related videos and let's get started inside Figma. So let's dive straight into Figma. You can grab the file by subscribing to my newsletter for free in the link in the description below. When you head to the Figma file on the left, we've got an example deck, which I've assembled together, showing the different ways of creating an engagement deck with different smart animations, a video board and more. And a really cool thing that we're looking at here is a loom style video where you walk through your deck async, you record yourself walking through your presentation and people can catch up in their own time before your interview or after to catch up on things and there's a lot less pressure when you're recording yourself in your own environment compared to an interview and the last thing to point out is some base slides in here where you can craft your own deck with any order that you want but these are the main decks where there's no content inside them just assemble them together transform them together as you please but this is the main deck let's dive into some of the engagement stuff now so let's dive straight into the example deck in more detail the first thing we've got here is a little video that changes on the profile photo so if i go to the main component here you can see this is a little profile photo of me and after a delay it changes to a video so it changes to frame 2 here which you can see inside frame 2 is a video option so you got solid linear all of these options and then you have video here so we're changing this after a delay to a video which I think adds a nice touch whilst you're waiting for your portfolio to presentation to start so if I press restart we've got the little static profile picture here and then after a delay it changes to a video which is me cycling inside Vietnam which is a nice little touch there so that's the first thing next up let's talk through my path to today which uses smart animates and some gifs so if we go through the agenda and then we've got my path to today and we've got a gif here of the meta logo I'm working today and then we've got this bouncing animation where things move up and then we've got a Gaussian blur. So let me just show you how we do this inside the Figma file. So if you go to prototype, you can see after delay, on click, smart animate, and you click the gentle animation, you have the matching layer names and you just move the images across. You can see in the X and Y axis that it changes a bit and then it gives that effect. And with this meta logo, it's literally just a GIF that looks really cool and it just animates through and the same here, this is using the same smart animation and we've added a Gaussian blur to give that effect. It's really simple, but it's a nice way to present your little path to today. And I think it offers a nice little subtle effect. So after my path to today, we talk through a little video and adventure board. So this is a bit more about me, but it's a scrollable Pinterest style board where you can scroll left and right, adds a bit more engagement. It's a bit cool, it's a bit funky. So I've got pictures of me running, me going to Palestine, we've got pictures of Vietnam, we've got pictures of me creating content, me filming YouTube videos, and some thumbnails here as well. So it's just a different way of presenting information. And the way we do this is it's as simple as if you go here, there's a grid layout and you just literally fill in the information inside this grid. So if I go to design, this here uses a video, whilst this one here uses a video and this here is an image. And if I show you, when you go to prototype, I've got the uh, overflow in both directions here. So then you can scroll left and right, which makes it a lot easier to do. So if you just enable the overflow, because the frame's way bigger, it means you'll scroll it up and down and it gives that effect. Really cool animation that I recommend you guys to add your content. And when you do your about me, it's a nice little way to do it. So let's talk through now through some of the core case study slides for your portfolio presentation. So here for the case study, we have a device frame, which is static here with a really nice hero image to give people an understand what to expect from your case study. And then next up, we talk about the project. And we've got a marketing video which you can talk around in your presentation. It's a bit more exciting when you have a video to talk through to help people understand your project in a bit further details here. So you have some text and a video to talk through which can make it a bit more interesting when presenting your portfolio. 
after this we've got some jobs to be done here where we've got some static nice little hero images as well as some text where you can understand what were the jobs and personas uh, what are some of the key tasks that they have to perform so people understand in a bit more detail about the problems you're really trying to solve here so here we now talk through the jobs to be done and now we want to talk through what was the actual people problem and then what was the actual business problem that you're trying to talk through and we highlight in purple some of the key parts we want people to focus on. After this we talk through some objectives and key results. What were some of the things you were trying to target for your project? What were some key metrics for your project? Was it something like retaining businesses or was it improving the amount of usage of your project or what was it that you was trying to target before the design explorations really started stuff like this are some core foundations for your case study and then we've got the key results in more detail where we talk through some metrics we were really trying to target and improve for the project and then we've got another video where you can talk through some constraints as well. You can change this to any type of video that you want. And now talking through the key part, your design explorations. And there's so many ways to present this and we're gonna explore some here today. So what we've got is desktop designs are sometimes hard to fit on a presentation slide on 1920 by 1080. So how about you scroll up and down inside this container to help people talk through your design designs a bit better so how do we do this you go straight into the figma file and you can see here this is a frame inside a frame and your desktop device just insert the frame inside and you make this scrollable on prototype scroll with parent and vert so you have it scrolling down vertically and you can see if i open this up you can see the rest of the actual design that people can go up and down in that is my portfolio homepage uh, and what you can see is I've also clipped the content to make sure that you can't see and it cuts off the design so you can go up and down in the content. Another way to talk through explorations is marking things up and using a little cursor to highlight key parts you want people to focus on. So you have some markup on the left and then you get people to highlight and focus on oh this is a de design exploration here's what we want to look at and then you smart animate and it scrolls down to the next part and then you can get people to highlight and focus on certain parts again and the way we do this is you can see on prototype smart animate ease in and this is the exact same uh, design so we can see here this is home page and this one here is on the home page on the left and it's the exact same design if i duplicate this out you can just see that it's a really big design we've clipped the content but it's the exact same design and it just scrolls down with that smart animation another way to talk for your designs is how about we mark them up so we enlarge this design and now you can mark up and enlarge this and you can really talk through key aspects of your designs here and with desktop designs or even mobile designs sometimes the text when you're presenting can get a bit distracting so you want a full screen view oh, here's my design here's everything in detail here's some of the annotations of key decisions i want you to focus on and it's a really nice way of talking through this and i recommend changing things up and having a different way of presenting through your designs and then lastly we talk through impact of your project always important did the task completion rate increase uh, did the task completion time decrease? When was the feature rolled out? What were some of the markets? And then we've got some GIFs here. Always really exciting to have some GIFs. We've added a few at the start, but these ones are really cool. These are from Figma community, and it's just a thank you slide that you can insert GIFs throughout. But that is me talking through the main slides for the portfolio presentation. I really hope it really helps you create more exciting slides when you're presenting and it helps you out a ton. But here's one last idea to really take your portfolio presentation to the next level. And this is leveraging async style video, walking through your designs at your own pace 
like a loom. So maybe before the portfolio presentation, you want people to catch up or walk through your designs yourself, or maybe after they might forget something and you really wanna just stand out. And if you're comfortable filming video, it's a great way of doing this. So what we have here is me, I've recorded this video before and I'm just talking through the designs here. And here you can just have your case study and you can just flick through the slides at, at your own pace and you can get me or it could be you just talking through your designs and what you can do is set different after delay animations so here we've got on click and then what you can do is change it to navigate or change to after delay after a set amount of time that corresponds with your video or you could just get people to click through you could just say oh on the next slide and then they click on the next slide when you record your video and it gives a totally game-changing way of presenting your portfolio in your own time and you can just share this out more widely as well and if you feel more comfortable on video record it in your own pace with no pressures of an interview, it can really help you capture and hone in your presentation as well. And I really recommend trying it out. It's a different way of doing things, leveraging Figma video, and I highly recommend someone to try it out. So please tweet me or message me if you try this out. I think it's pretty exciting. Overview of the base slides, and we've got some different style presentation. We've got some iPhone slides, and we've got some laptop slides, and we've got the cursor here where you can insert in, which flashes and blinks. And then we've got some different title slides here as well that you can all change and customize to your preference. And that is the portfolio presentation. And I really hope you found it useful. Thank you so much for making it to the end of this video. I hope you found this template useful and you can leverage some of these tricks to make your portfolio presentation way more exciting. You can grab the template by heading the link in the description below. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up and comment down below your favorite feature that we went through today. Be sure to subscribe for future design related videos and I'll catch you on the next video. Peace out.